Hey everyone, Michael Crump here. Today I want to talk about five Cali tips and tricks to help make you more productive. Let's go. So let's kick things off by going to our user share folder. You can get there by just a user in a share. If we do a listing on this folder, you're going to see many different interesting resources uh, that you can use during pen testing. And so just to kick things off, we're actually going to go into the word list folder. Inside of the word list folder, uh, we can see that Kali ships with many word lists that has different things such as users, even passwords. We could take a quick peek by looking at the rockyou.tech. So we'll do a head, a dash in, let's just give it 10 and a rock you. And here you can see, here is some of the uh, sample passwords. There's also a folder that is going to be called web shells. So this contains many different types of shells, including some reverse shells that you can check out. It's also classified here by language. So if I wanted a script for PHP, I'd go CD PHP. And now inside of this, you can see there is a PHP reverse shell. And if we navigate back over to just our share folder, we can go and we can take a look at the source code of Nmapped and some of those scripts so we can know exactly what they're going to be running. Uh, we can do that by going ahead and navigating into Nmap, and then we're going to go to scripts and we'll do a listing here. And as you see, here is several of the NSE scripts uh, for use with Nmap. And if you wanted to take a look at one of these and we're just going to do a maybe a head in uh, 20 on this file. We can see what type of output and if we wanted to manipulate and change these, we would be able to. And just one more here just for fun is that we can go into our user share wall papers. And everything that's in this folder is going to be different wallpapers that's available for Kali. Okay, so let's look at a great way that we can keep our system up to date with just one command, which we could actually take that command and then put it inside of a cron job. And for ZShield, that's going to be a dot SHRC. Uh, keep in mind, this will also work if you are using bash and your bash aliases. So we're gonna scroll down here and I'm gonna paste a code snippet here. And this function is going to be called apt-updater. And so it does an update, it does a dist update, goes ahead and removes any of the existing files uh, that is not needed any longer. And then it performs a reboot. Let's save out of this. And now let's refresh the instance of ZShell. And now we can type apt up data and now it will run through all of the different types of updates that is needed for the system it'll clean up any unused files and then it will reboot the system taking a look now at tools.cali.org this is a very useful website because you're going to be able to see things such as what tools is available. So these are the Kali Linux tools. You can see here is all of the different types of tools uh, that's available. And obviously, you know, if you go and you click into one of these, you'll get a little bit more information as well as a little quick understanding on how to actually use it and kind of get started with that tool. Another thing is if we go back, uh, we can take a look over here at meta packages. And so these are going to allow us just to install the packages that we need for our current work. So if you were doing a vulnerability assessment or maybe I've been doing some reverse engineering binaries, you could use these meta packages here to download it. Another thing here is also inside of the miscellaneous group down here at the bottom, there is Kali Tools Top 10. So this is the most common top 10 list of tools that folks use when they are on Kali. As you can see, it shouldn't be much of a surprise. We've got Burpsweed in here, we've got Hydra, also John Metasploit, 
Nmap and Wireshark, and then a few others in here as well. And if you need a desktop manager, here is a couple of desktop managers uh, that they recommend that you can use. And that would also take care of your Windows manager as well. And then finally here, there is version tracking. The version tracking that is in here, this allows you to compare the current upstream version with the version currently being used in Kali Linux. You definitely need to get a lightweight editor that you can use. I personally use Visual Studio Code, obviously completely free. I usually come to this website and I click the download button for the .deb package. I'll navigate into my downloads folder. And so now I just listed out the file. This file is a DEB file. And so now if I wanted to go ahead and extract that, I could do so by going sudo dpkg-i code and I will hit tab to autocomplete. And if you head back over to your applications and you begin to start typing the word code, it will show up right here. If you ever wanted to check the weather completely from your terminal, well, you easily can simply by typing in curl wttr.in and let's check the weather in Amsterdam. And now we can see exactly what's going on in Amsterdam with the weather. It also works uh, with zip codes. So I will punch in my zip code. In Redmond, it actually looks uh, pretty good. So typically, if you ever wanted to come back in and change that command, you would go up here to the top and you know you may use your arrow keys uh, to navigate through to it. Well, you can also use what's built in called FC. So this will give you the ability to edit the command just like you were previously, but it will give you things like multi-line support and more. And since this is Vim, you will need to exit out by doing a quote x enter 